Hello, I'm Victor, an engineer here at Kaspersky. In this video, we will show you how to use Kaspersky Endpoint Detection and Response Optimum to detect, investigate, and swiftly respond to evasive threats across endpoints. Kaspersky EDR Optimum is designed for customers with limited security expertise in protection against threats or for those with limited IT resources who want to understand what's happening in their infrastructure and respond to evasive threats before they can do any damage. In this scenario, let's imagine that an attack is carried out by mail to the organization's internal address list. The file entered the organization's infrastructure at users' workstations through a classic phishing email. This is synthetic malware that is not capable of doing harm, but its behavior is similar to real malware. The user receives an email with a link, which in this example is an executable. After that, the user saves the file on their computer and launches it. Then it tries to perform malicious actions. On the affected system, Kaspersky Endpoint Security is turned on and all protection components are operating. It detects new malware using behavior analysis technology and transfers the information to Kaspersky Security Center using EDR Optimal. Now let's go see what we have received in the Kaspersky Security Center Cloud Console. To do that, we log in and switch to the Alerts section. Find the related alert and click the More Details link. The alert card opens. Here we can see the attack path visualization, which shows us the context of the alert, how the threat moved on this endpoint, and which actions and events are connected to it. By examining the process tree, we can uncover the following activity. The malware file was created via the parent process explorer.exe and was run by the user from the downloads folder on the system. As a result of executing this file, it created another process that had created many file drops, registry keys, and suspicious network connections were detected. We are able to view each process star details and general file information individually by clicking on each process, as well as learn more about the reputation of the file by looking up their hashes on the Kaspersky Open Threat Intelligence Portal. Under the details of the alert, there is information like the date and time of the alert, malware category, and where the process was detected. In our case, this was a memory process. Then you have the information about the host and the user, process information, and other data, including the malicious files metadata and statistic data from Kaspersky Threat Intelligence. To learn more about the detected threat, we can look up the detection on the portal or get additional data on the file with this hash. Let's click on the link representing MD5 hash and we will select Kaspersky Open Threat Intelligence Portal. Here you can get information about the detected objects. Also, this portal contains data on a wide range of known threats and you can find information like file reputation from hashes check URLs, IP addresses, and domains. Since we are using a synthetic sample imitating malicious activity in this example, the relevant information already exists in online reputation database. Up top of the alert card, there is a list of guided actions recommended by Kaspersky security experts while working with the alert card. You can proceed to work with the alert card either using the recommendations links or by selecting the elements of attack path visualization. When you click the isolated computer from the network link, a dialog with description of the current step opens. Review the description and close the tip dialog. Now to prevent further potential infection, we will isolate the host for the duration of the analysis. We do this with just a single click and then press OK. The user will get a notification that his computer was isolated. 
Now, if you try to open any web page, you will see the browser error confirming that the network access is limited. And this will help you prevent the threat from spreading to other hosts. Now on to analyzing the threat and finding its root cause. We can see on the graph that the detected file had a parent file, which avoided automatic detection. The first thing we'll do is to forbid launching the parent file, which evaded detection on other hosts. So we prevented from spawning the detected malicious object, serving as a backdoor in a future attacks and performing other malicious actions. We can also quarantine the file if you choose to. To prevent execution, we open the alert card and select the prevent execution button and confirm the action. The file hash will be automatically added to the prevention rules list in the endpoint security policy. Note that the executable file was added to the prevention rule list. On the managed device, run the test executable one more time and EDR Optimum blocks the startup of the application. A proactive response is to use an indicator of compromise or an IOC scan on all devices in your infrastructure and respond to threats automatically. To do so, open the alert card and click search a detected threat link from the recommendation list and mark the checkbox next to the text executable in the list. Click create IOC button. Set or any IOC found as scan condition and configure the following actions. Run scan of critical areas, move copy to quarantine, delete object. Here, you can also configure IOC scan to isolate computer from the network or export IOC collection. Click create task button. Close the alert card and switch to devices task section. Select the IOC scan from alert, task, and start it. Open the task properties and switch to results tab. Here you can see that the task was completed and the indicators of compromise were found. Switch to the application settings tab and open IOC scan results section. Click the IOC detected link. IOC results windows opened. Here you can see the list of IOC that were found during scan. Click on match link. IOC description opens. Here you can see where the file was located and according to which criteria it was detected. On the devices where this IOC has been discovered, the specified response task was launched automatically and malicious file have been moved to quarantine. Now let's explore a slightly more advanced scenario. Let's imagine our industry is currently under a massive attack from a new evasive threat. Naturally, we want to know if we are actually under attack ourselves or if our systems are still clean, but don't know it yet. To do this, we can import an indicator of compromise from a trusted source into a Kaspersky EDR Optimum, or even create an IOC from a hash we found online. So as an example, you can find information on the latest threats and new IOC developed by our leader experts from Kaspersky Global Research and Analysis team on our website, securitylist.com. Here, we can have a detailed overview list of incidents, for example, malicious attacks, zero-day vulnerabilities, ransomware variants, and many more. In our scenario, we will try to search for the Revel ransomware encryption variant in our environment. So let's go to the bottom of the page where several indicators of compromise associated with this attack are published. We use one of the hashes from this list and insert it into an IOC file. We take an IOC file we've used before, for example, the one we just generated and create a copy of it to insert our new hash into. We're doing this just because it's simpler than creating a new IOC file from the scratch or trying to find one that's just right for this task. Now we just copy the hash from securelist.com 
add it into the content tag. The same would apply if we wanted to use several hashes. We just need to insert them into other tags using an OR or AND rule. Save it and that's it. The only thing left to do is to add this indicate of compromise as a new IOC task. To do so, we navigate to Devices Task section and click Add a new IOC scan task. Once done with the Task Creation Wizard, open the task and go to Application Settings. Here we can import the IOC file by pressing Redefine IOC Files and on the newly opened pane, Add IOC Files. We select the IOC file we've just created from the list and press OK. We check the response actions and press Save. Last thing to do is to launch the task as we did before by selecting it in the task menu and pressing Start. So now we made sure that if this threat appears on any of our machines, we'll be warned about it and response actions will already have been performed automatically as soon as it's discovered. IOC scans in Kaspersky EDR Optimum can be performed on request as we've done here, or we can set up a schedule to scan for this IOC periodically. Now that we have a good understanding of the detection, remediated the threat and achieved peace of mind, we can cancel the network isolation. To do so, open the alert card and click Unblock Computer Isolated from the Network. Now confirm the action in the Appear dialog window. When the host is unblocked, a user gets a notification that network limitations are removed. We can now confirm that the network connection is restored and able to ping a website on the internet. So this is how you can quickly and easily analyze and respond to evasive threats with Kaspersky EDR Optum. Thank you for watching. Check out our other tech dive videos and stay safe.